Checking the mic, one, two. I think I've got my settings figured out now. Just... So I'm gonna keep messing around with that. Um, but in the meantime, You know what? I don't know what to do about that, and I don't really care that much. Um, I'm just gonna roll with it. It's not like anybody would really be here to look at my face anyway. Um, so, good evening. Welcome to the stream. This is my 23rd episode of streaming my first playthrough of Stellaris. Uh, I have spent 37 hours on this first playthrough. And I think maybe I'm getting close to the end, maybe a couple hours left, there's about a hundred game years. Um, I am in the lead, and so I believe that I just have to wait out the clock until year, what does it say, year 2500. I'm at 2403 right now. Um, and then I think, I think I win. Checking my sound one more time. Clicking around, making some noise. Yeah. Still a little bit loud. I'll turn down the game a little bit. And I will go with that. Check, check, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. Yep, that's about perfect. And unlike the other night, you can also hear my soundtrack, and uh, that soundtrack is through Twitch soundtrack, and it is Chill Please, in case you were curious. Okay, so I have a low stockpile, which I don't care about. There are time projects somewhere. Um, that's probably just a brief fields around the galaxy. That guy's headed toward that, so that's fine. Um, I have a monthly trade that's out of whack. It's probably my purchases, because I am totally out of energy credits. So I'll wind that down a little bit. Uh, somebody's missing an action, no idea who. I think I was messing around with my science ships trying to figure out what the... Um, they have some kind of like slip space jump thing that they do. Uh, Tenth Fleet, I wonder where this belongs. No, 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 no. Do not chew on cables. These are my nice headphones, bro. Uh, can't really see because of the camera, but I have a kitten here. It's not really a kitten anymore, he's probably nine months old. 
Um, but he is just incredibly hyper. Yeah, you can't see that, I don't think. No, you can't, you definitely can't see it because it's on the frozen side of my uh, video feed. I have some unemployment here for obvious reasons. Construction complete. And those reasons are that I haven't built any districts yet. And I have some blockers I could probably clear if I had any cash, which I don't. Um, I'm going to crank this by all the way down. I definitely don't need the alloy anymore. I like to just crank it down to one so that um, just so I can remember where I'm at. Can build that, and I'm really in a housing shortage situation here, so we'll go ahead and get some luxury residences going. Um, I'm in the red with minerals, which is fine. Alloy, I just have a ton of, and that's fine. I am kind of building up my borders here. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Um, this station is upgrading. This one has upgraded. I'll go ahead and turn it into a citadel and let it keep building down here. I need to do the same thing and I'll go ahead and get another gun battery and missile battery and down here I will get the crew quarters. The I really do need more fleet capacity. What gets me that? I can never remember. Um, that's the anchorage. better well you know what maybe I'll do oh I already have it queued up I see maybe I'll do a I'm gonna do an anchorage instead just because I need that so badly building a better tomorrow more alloy less habitability more workout worker output and diplomatic strength from economy plus 60%. That's huge. I know I have the leading economy, so I'm going to go ahead and support that. Uh, this is all all built out, which is good. I wonder how strong a Citadel really is. 32k. That is obviously huge. I can upgrade this one. I will get, actually, I'm just going to get two anchorages here just because that's silly I should get a no I can get I can get two anchorages and a crew quarters that's perfect with really prime needs some amenities and it doesn't have a hollow theater so I will go with that Upgrades I can do here, and then what am I lacking here? Number of pops greater than or equal to. Oh, I just need to grow my planet more. I can definitely afford to build a city district, and pretty much whatever I want at this point. I'm gonna keep it on normal speed for a while, just to keep moving forward. Uh, I am low on crystals, so I'll get a synthetic crystal plant. Soul Station, kind of feel like I don't even really need this anymore. Research complete. Naval capacity plus 20, that helped a, a good amount, but not as much as I need it to, necessarily. 
Um, System survey so complete. Get some more farming. Construction complete. So it is there. Whoa, what just happened? I just went red and everything all of a sudden. The governor is leveled up. Okay. That was weird how that happened. I'm not sure what the heck. It's like something just triggered. Maybe it's just because my population grew all of a sudden? I don't know. Uh, admin capacity, I'm actually okay on that right now. Can get more food from jobs. I am in the red on food, so that probably makes sense. Here, I think I can go ahead and build another star base just kind of randomly, even though I don't control any of this territory. There's no reason not to do it. And these can actually both go home. Don't need them hanging out here anymore. Fourth fleet, gotcha. I'm thinking maybe this fleet was supposed to come up here. Analyzed. Actually, I'm going to send this here, that there, and then this one that I called Demon's Defense. I'm going to rebase it to the Demon's Maw. That was the idea all along. There we go. Now I can send it home. Okay, I gotta clean up some of my trading here. Obviously, I'm selling way too much food. Um, buying gas, I have plenty of it. I'm buying crystals, which I definitely need to keep doing. Actually, I don't know if I can afford to. Construction complete. And I could probably sell more more minerals, so that should help balance things, maybe, hopefully. There's nothing left to explore, so I'm just going to send my science ship back home. Construction complete. Number of things that I can build and upgrade here. Um, lacking amenities sorely, so I will go with those. Um, start with commercial zones. Or no, not commercial zones. Oh yes, commercial zones. Still have unemployment on Earth. Still not sure what to do about it. It's lower class unemployment, so it seems like if I just swapped out one of these things with like a mineral purification plant, maybe that would do the trick way too many amenities here. I don't really want to sacrifice my entertainment for him. That might be the one to swap out. I'll go ahead and do it. Swap it out for a min mineral purification plant. Uh, looks like now I'm selling minerals too quickly. And I could start buying some consumer goods, but I actually have a ton of them, so I'm okay to let that deplete over time. Research complete. Some 
research I can do. Energy weapon attack speed, energy weapon damage. Uh, probably don't even want to consider anything else because it's outside of my researcher's wheelhouse. So that is fine. Still upgrading. Still constructing. See, I know there were a couple over here that I don't think I fully upgraded. Nope, not even close. Let's see, crew quarters is always first, and then go with the target uplink computer. This guy is fully complete. upgraded and fully built out, which is awesome. This one is fully upgraded and needs some more crystal, it looks like. Research complete. In case that's what my issue is. Let's see, so that should give me more minerals, which is always good. Um, basic strike craft, hangar bay, kinetic weapons. Uh, I'm going to go with this power plant. I'm not really sure what that does, but I guess we'll find out. Um, so let's see, this guy was... Yeah, that's Construction right, I just need crystal. Oh man, minus 43, that is a big Research problem. Research complete. I gotta get my economy under control, something's way off here. Um, that was like the fastest research ever. Uh, and here, I'm just going to go with uh, Alloy Mega Forges, I think. Um, the Yaks can now use Subjugation Cast a Spelly against us. Well, that's not good. That means they're probably going to go crazy and start throwing their weight around, which means probably I should consider maybe consolidating my fleet around that area. Um, it began as a subtle shift in. Uh, Yaks Kalak behavior, scattered reports of their ships, once rarely seen outside their own space, now being spotted in remote systems all across the galaxy. Highly advanced scouting vessels visiting ancient ruined worlds, refusing all hails, and fleeing when attacked. Their purpose and mission unknown until now. We now know that the Yaks Kalak were preparing, recovering the databanks of surveyed beacons and automated scouting posts. Uh, the Yaks have closed borders to us, which makes me very nervous. Um, Research complete. Gathering information for their return to the galactic stage. In Yaks Kalak space, fleets are gathering, armies are being mustered, and ancient factories roar to life. For the first time in an age, the Yaks Kalak mediators are looking outwards beyond their borders and towards the galaxy at large. As their decaying shipyards are repaired and refitted, and the dormant system systems of titan foundries come online the rest of the galaxy is left with only one question who will this once sleeping giant target first in their quest to reclaim age old glory lost uh giants in the playground indeed they are still quite a bit tougher i believe um Yeah, that makes me super nervous because all of their border touches me, and that's an 87k fleet. I don't have anything close to that, I don't think. And also, I'm leading, so it is highly likely they will be attacking me. So I'm going to immediately take get all the forces I possibly can back to that area. Because um, I am incredibly nervous that they are going to come after me. And I don't know if I'm going to fare very well. Mm. 
about to happen. Okay. So those fleets are coming that direction. That one can stay where it's at. This one, 4th and 10th, we're going to combine. And then I'm going to go ahead and send them I'll actually merge them with the far west fleet. They don't need to be. Um, actually, these guys, they can probably come down here. Where are these guys going? That's an 87k. It's such a huge fleet, it's ridiculous. Notice there's a mineral outpost that I can build here. I'm reluctant to actually reinforce any of my fleets because I'm already way above my capacity there. Kind of trying to look around and see where I can build um, build some anchorages to boost my capacity real quick. Yeah. My, oh, that's that's part of my economic issue. The cost to maintain all those ships is 31% above what it should be. Wow! Look at my population. That's huge. Economy is really out of whack. Problem is all of my stuff requires these crystals. I wonder if that's a problem with my like with this stuff. Yeah, see, all these weapons require crystal and I just don't have enough. Like not even close. So I could, and I'm really okay on alloy. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to replace a couple alloy plants with crystal plants. Yeah, that's obviously what I should have been doing all along.
also it's kind of weird how you can do all these upgrades but it won't like it won't give you that hint in the outliner it's kind of annoying oh my gosh look at how huge these fleets are there is no reason why I should do anything but just like roll over I don't think I mean there's obviously no way I can defeat them so if they attack me I am just going to completely give up immediately hopefully that won't cost me the victory Search complete. Let's see what I can do here. Um, global production strategy. Army health. Yeah, let's get some army health. here that's not within a sector at the moment. Create one there. And that is really the only option, so I will go ahead and do that. Get a governor. Less crime. Better research. Uh, wow, I don't have enough uh, energy credits. That's crazy. my camera did. stuff works, it honestly confuses me completely. Uh, I really don't need this star base at all, so I'm gonna downgrade it. Construction complete. I don't know what that does. Underway. Unit cost, building cost, colony ships. Not sure it really matters. This guy's kind of gonna win anyway, so that's fine. Fulfilled. That's fine. I don't remember what the mandate even was, to be honest. Um, whoa, I need to hire a bunch of governors. If only I had the cash. Having a bunch of unemployment issues. I'm going to keep replacing boundaries with synthetic, synthetic crystal plants, so that's obviously an issue for me. 
Uh, here I need a couple city districts, and I'll need some amenities next time I can. Looks like crystal is what I'm lacking. That was a big problem. I don't know what all this experimental subspace stuff does. So in order to assist with the research, you need to put it in orbit around the planet, I see. Maybe, and then click on it. Can only be like one ship per planet? I don't understand. Unemployment here, unemployment there, unemployment everywhere, still not enough crystal, major economic problems everywhere, just gonna keep building up synthetic crystal plants, very desperately need to get that under control. can still sell some minerals. Looks like I could actually establish another sector right here. right there. That's pretty useless. Good thing that it doesn't cost anything. Uh, repeal collective waste management. Let's see. Habitability minus two. Worker pop. Okay, yeah. No, I'm opposing that. Where are all my envoys anyway? Uh, I got three of them at Urzgoba, two of them in my federation. There's Gabu. Yeah, they they sure like us. That's great. I don't know how to. I don't know how to get somebody to become your incoming your transmission. I don't understand that. Commercial pact with the assembly. That's fine. Maybe they just have to be like much weaker than you. But everybody's much weaker than me. So I don't. I don't know, I don't understand. Research complete. I do not understand. Also, I would have thought the Yaks would be doing something by now, but not yet, I guess. Crystal situation under control. It's taking a long time though. Construction complete.
I feel like once I go building all these crystal plants, I'm gonna have a major issue. So I'll have too much of it. Now oh, this planet is finally ready to construction. Ready complete. to go. Still don't have enough energy credits to do anything though. Um, construction complete. Can I get a crystal plant here? Maybe. Nope. It needs a planetary administration. So what I really want to do first, I think, is uh, get a monument. Yeah, I'm falling behind here. District and get the crystal plant. And actually, I'll bump that to the top. Oops. That's not what I meant to do. Shift click. Uh, scout units exploring the tunnel network below with really prime have entered the royal palace in what was once the capital of the underground alien empire. The corpse of what passed for their emperor is still perched on a massive throne in the main chamber. After using explosive charges to breach the palace treasury, our scouts found it filled with gold and strange alien art. Uh, the art will be shipped back to museums on Earth, and the sale of gold should provide a nice boost to our state budgets. There's 500 energy credits, which is uh, desperately needed at this time. And with that, I think the first thing I'll do is go to my planets and sectors and hire at least a couple uh, governors. Let's see, crime, admin, lifespan. Who else needs one? Unity sector. Lifespan, admin, army, build costs. And is that it? That is it. So now I have my, all my governors in place, which is good. Got some more alloy foundries to upgrade. And get a crystal plant. Get two, why not? Construction complete. Put those first. Still at a minus 20 crystal economy. Not much I can do about these planets, it doesn't seem like. Still not sure what the, what the deal is with the yaks. I know I can't beat them. They're just kind of sitting here. I don't know. I don't know what to do. Construction complete. Construction complete. Still need some more anchors, though. build any defense class platforms because I don't have any crystal, which is just really wonderful. Finally clear one blocker. Great. Research complete. Keep selling more more minerals to get my energy credits up. Uh, let's see what I can build. Anything useful? New type of armor. I'll just go with the general upgrade.
Rising unemployment on Earth. Yes, I know. I need to keep giving the benefits. That's not the Research first time complete. I've gotten that. I've gotten that multiple times at this point. Need another city district. Because I don't have any other options here, I think I need to go with a luxury housing unit. On the health, let's see. Could get more food. Don't really need it. Uh, don't need another star base, so. All things equal, I guess I will just go with more food. If nothing else, at least I can just sell it. Prime has been racked by another wave of earthquakes recently. It seems that some of the deepest parts of the underground tunnel network has collapsed without the subterranean aliens to maintain them. Many of our settlements have suffered damage. Great. So, yeah, devastation, 8%. Bunch of different random effects. Not much I can do about that. Construction complete. Just gonna keep getting more anchorages here. So I'm feeling quite desperate to um, construction complete. To get my fleet uh, capacity under control. I kind of didn't realize that was such a big issue, but I think it's having a pretty big effect on things right now. Researched FTL inhibitors? I don't think I have. Construction complete. actually a bunch of stuff that I can build and upgrade. And I don't need to think about it anymore for the moment. Um, get my city districts going here, and since my moats are in the red, I'll get a chemical plant. Uh, minus two housing. Yikes. Um, again, I'm really doing good on Really doing good on alloys, so I think I'll replace one of my alloy factories with luxury housing. Clear 
clear these blockers out. That'll be helpful. There we go. Still no movement from the axe, which is just really disturbing and weird. Uh, the one thing I can definitely do now is um, keep building these defense platforms. Prospectors have ventured into some of the deeper tunnels that once belonged to the now dead subterranean aliens, aliens of which really prime. They have finally discovered the long rumored gold mine Ships where it was believed upgraded. the underground empire acquired its large reserve of precious metal. 500 energy credits. Ships Great. upgraded. And I'm finally nicely in in the Ships green. Upgraded on all parts of my economy, which is great. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. So I'm just gonna go through and upgrade everything. Ships upgraded. Build as many platforms as I can. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. Really. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. Still looks like I could use more Ships anchorages. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. I guess I was just totally ignoring. Ships upgraded. The uh... Ships upgraded. Oh, hold on. There is a Ships naval logistics upgraded. office here. I didn't even notice that. Ships upgraded. That's good to know. Ships upgraded. Ships upgraded. I am quite a good way into the lead now against the Yaks, which is nice. Um, Still behind on the moats, so I'll get that chemical plant. Should help there. Got some unemployment here. Really not sure what to do about that a lot of the time. It's in the mid strata, so researchers, metallurgists, artisans. Yeah, not sure. Not sure what a good thing to do for that would be. Maybe replace one of the commercial megaplexes. Because I have plenty of amenities. Maybe replace one of those with a research thing. It never hurts to have a ton of research. I'm like, I'm afraid to start a war against anyone because I feel like once I do, the yaks will start going crazy. Definitely not going to do it tonight because I do want to call it a night in probably another 15 minutes or so. fast for a minute. Like I said the other night, if when I play this again, I'm gonna just make a rule where I have to keep it on fast the entire time because this is just so brutally long. It's, you know, it's not that it's not fun, like it is fun. It's just too long. my naval capacity just slowly bumping up. Maintenance is only at 1% now, so that's perfect. Don't really need any more. In fact, I'll probably go way too far in the green and need to pare that back a little bit. Check on the moats, still in the red, so I'll get another chemical plant. 
my governor is not stubborn. Bad, of course. Food from jobs, naval capacity plus 20, but I'm already in the green. I could do that and then go through and replace some of my stuff, but why not just do this instead? Wow, look at all that alloy. It's pretty ridiculous. Still need more moats. When you put on fast, it really becomes impossible to even keep up with things anymore. I mean, look at this. I'm way behind. And for every... It's like every second you spend with something unupgraded is just lost opportunity. Pretty much just wasting. Uh, wasting your resources. It's a it's an opportunity loss, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Research complete. I'm starting to think the yaks aren't ever going to do anything. I don't know what that big urgent Research message was. Complete. That was just years ago at this point. Ships upgraded. 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 Research complete. So general damage upgrade. Looks like uh was that an envoy? One well, of my envoys died. Two, three, four, five, uh oh, and they were just replaced, which is fine. Nothing else is going on. Unemployment here, mid strata, so the research complexes should help with that. It looks like an art experiment. Mm -hmm. 
Is there anything you can build to harvest the moats? I honestly don't know. Construction complete. Oh, looks like I can. I got a bunch of those around. Hold on, let me do something. Put a mine station there. Mine station there. Oh my gosh, look at all this stuff I can build. Research complete. I must have unlocked text that I just didn't even know about, I guess. Oh crap, why did he do that? He forgot. Oh, I, I lifted up my finger too fast. Construction complete. Wow. The wasted potential. It's like half the battle of this game is like figuring out where you can um where you can do stuff to not just waste your potential gains. That got busy for basically ever. Which is good. Uh, okay, let's see. Um, probably just get another random food thing. Uh, storage capacity is full of alloy. Oh my gosh. And I've stored up too much influence as well. Um, it's kind of crazy. I guess I'll just sell bunch of alloy. That's fine. Keep these balanced out. I've never really gone for the whole storage silos thing because it just seems really pointless. Why would you be stockpiling things when you could be spending it? But ultimately you do kind of get to a point where you can't actually spend everything. You just can't. Um, so you're gonna have to make stuff up. I'm actually low on housing here, so I'm gonna do that. And I'm very low on housing here, and no, no really opportunity to build city districts. Here, once again, low on housing, no city districts. Uh, there was something I was going to do. What was I thinking? Um, Research assistants going. Oh, I actually have a bunch of construction ships I'm not, e not even using. Obviously, I should uh, help do some of that construction. Mining station. There. Construction complete. at all. I'm just kind of giving them something to do. Construction complete. Gotta do something. Can't just sit there. It's the wise words of Jim Halpert. has completed construction of their gateway in the Fidhilan system. And the Sovereignty has constructed a gateway in the Bayou system. So 
so I think that means they have these gateways that go somewhere, and I don't know where. Uh, but they join somewhere around the map. Our forces on with really Prime are still mapping the tunnel network for our colony. They have come upon a large city belonging to the subterranean aliens that managed to isolate itself from the rest of their under underground empire before we flooded it with nerve gas. There are millions of frightened aliens in the city. Should our engineers collapse the cavern to finish the job? No, it doesn't give me the option to say no, so apparently I'm just saying yes. Does not feel great. What does this do? Alien megastructure? I have no idea what that does. Hopefully that's not like a victory route or something. I research don't. complete. I'm confused by the victory system in this game. I'm used to Civ where there's like multiple types of victories, but obviously that's not the case in this game. As long as I'm just sitting here, ooh, this planet needs amenities, so that'll be a hollow theater. Um, as long as I'm just sitting here and the yaks aren't doing anything, maybe I'll go around, send my fleets home, and then just upgrade them, because I know I have a bunch of upgrades, I think, anyway, I think I have a bunch of upgrades that can be done now. Actually, yeah, it's 10 o'clock. I think I will call it a night here. Um, yeah, that's so weird. All right, I'm gonna call it a night there. Um, didn't make much progress, just kind of turned the clock ahead and organized myself a little bit. Uh, so we'll go ahead and save. And um, yeah, that'll be it. Before I go, I will... Uh, I will afford the viewer the privilege of seeing this cat down here. And uh, let's see if I can get him to do a trick. There you go. He jumps up into the air to get a laser. That's, uh, that's about as good of a trick as you might expect from a cat, I guess. So. Alright, so as always, if you watched, I hope you enjoyed. And whether or not you enjoyed, I hope you have a wonderful evening.